Okay, this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you'll find all the news and reviews in pop culture that's right to type. Today's top story, since suffering a heart attack and being admitted to White Plains Hospital in New York, rapper DMX is facing severe health can, uh, health problems, and I've read several different reports, like like he had a heart attack, it was an overdose, went to a heart attack, right. He's now he's comatose or catatonic in the hospital. Yeah. There was there was a visual, that, a prayer visual that came out where fans, because DMX came out, I would have to say, what, 94, 96? That he, was, he was post-Tupac. Like, right after Tupac, he was, I think he may have been the first to fill that Tupac-less void. I don't know. I felt like he was, was like before, but probably when he came out to us, it was somewhere in the mid-90s. Yeah. Like... You know the Rough Riders and oh yeah, he's uh, definitely been the party up for anthem. Yeah, years. I mean, yeah. a lot of fans came out for him. Yeah. And yeah. don't forget his, his the movies Exit Wounds with Steven Seagal. Oh yeah, <laughs> love definitely that nice. movie. Yeah, Romeo Must Die. <laughs> Another awesome movie. Yeah. Well, anyway, belly speeding, smoking <laughs> weed, all that <laughs> shit, dog. Listen, Untouchable. X has been giving it to us for so long. All we can do <laughs> is to it. give it to him now, and that is prayers up for our dog. Hope for the okay. best. The director of Your Next in Godzilla vs. Kong, Adam Wingard, has been tapped by Warner Brothers to direct a Thundercats film based on the iconic 1980s animated television series. This now, is great I news put for me. this up in there especially <laughs> for you. This is there, great news for There me. was a year where Ralphie, I kid you not, he had some type of Afro process texturizer thing going on in his hair yeah. and you know, kids you may not notice now but back in the day this kid had a lot of hair and it was like red yeah, <laughs> and it would crazy. go in a lion o shape before I got the high top fade uh, JB uh, one summer I texturized my hair and it came out crazy alright right almost time. like Mr. Glass from <laughs> <laughs> His hair, it was like this big orange, and it went swoop. And yeah. the first thing I thought was, Robbie got his hair cut like lion. Yeah, I could, I could never like put it down. It was, it was always just out. It's crazy, man. But hey, great yeah. <laughs> Thundercats news. Yes, I just bought the first eight issues of Star Comics. I oh, saw wow. them cheap, grabbed them. Yes, let's hope the movie is excellent. And I was a big. Big fan of the cartoon. My brother, one Christmas, mom, I don't know what got into her. Uh, but she went out and literally bought the boy the entire collection. Oh. Nobody has ever had the entire collection of action figures as long as we wow. were kids. No, never. It was all, we were always missing, well, shit, we were missing more than just a one or two. We were yeah, missing exactly. a bunch. But, yeah. but he had all of the Thundercats and the bad guys. That was crazy. Damn. Well, uh, Mike Tyson in the news, he's uh, starting a new social media platform for Christians only, and it's causing some controversy. He's calling it Faith Book. Really? Actor Zachary Horowitz, 34, <laughs> better known by his stage name, Zach Avery, was arrested for allegedly operating a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme that involved investors believing their money was being used to purchase and license film rights. Diabolical. He misappropriated funds received by investors, depositing some of it in his personal accounts. Yeah, yeah I heard he was buying like watches and all this stuff. And it was interesting. Oh, wait, he was flossing with the... He was flossing with the... Hey, look, man, you want to got Spend money, make money, baby. <laughs> and I just think it's That's weird with crazy. guys like this. The remember what was the name of that other guy that was in Fire Island? That whole thing. Oh, uh, you know, Jaw Rules. Yeah, uh, you know some of these guys yeah, got the gift of gab, and they right. know how to yeah. talk and, to and people, they'll talk people, and they're into, in the industry because I think this guy he was he had an uncredited role in the movie Fury with Brad. Pitt. That's why they're calling him an actor. Yeah, <laughs> when it actor. <laughs> Well, but, you know, it, it just goes down to if it's too good to be true, yes, walk no. away. <laughs> if he's yeah. promised you those huge returns, walk away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, sidebar, um, be careful of that app, Robin Hood. Just be careful. <laughs> <laughs>
No such thing as free lunch. That's all I want to say. No, never that. Investing in whatever, you know, <laughs> yeah. it never. Uh, just be well. I'm sure just saying, thing. if you're not an actual stockbroker and you're like, hey, I'm playing, well, with, it, you know, you, you know, it, it should be opened up to the average Joe. It I mean, is, you know, and I feel like, it's, but I feel like you can easily. I think that's a slippery slope. It's like the gateway of walking into, hey, I got a guy who can get me, you yeah. know. You know, I think the best exercise, and I did this in school, they had to sit down with newspapers, the stock section, and buy stocks, pretend stocks, mm -hmm. yeah. and track them and trade them for a week. And by the end of the week, everyone was broke. We start off with like $100,000. Yeah. So if you think you're a stock expert... <laughs> Pretend to buy stocks and see what they do before you actually go. It's all made up and fake money anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Money's fake. <laughs> can, I, can I have some of that? Of course. <laughs> I'm going to print you out whatever you want. <laughs> this week's review, Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong and his guardians embark on a dangerous journey in search of his true home. Gia, an orphan girl with, with a special and strong bond with the Mighty Beast, joins them on their journey. However, they soon find themselves into the crosshairs of Godzilla on his Godzilla. path of destruction Godzilla. as he wrecks havoc. Uh, they were screaming, oh, God, God, they was tripping. <laughs> oh, then Godzilla then turned on us. Uh, the fight between the two that. titans is just the start of the mystery that lies deep inside the planet's heart. <laughs> the hollow earth. The hollow earth. <laughs> okay, Word. so, all right. Kong versus, Godzilla versus Kong, if that's what you, yeah. All right, let me say, it. first of all, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I fell asleep. <laughs> I passed out. It, and listen, it was big, dumb Fun. That's what it, it was. was. Yeah. Big dumb fun. It was yeah. exciting. The fights were outstanding. Oh yeah, MMA style fights. Oh yeah, that was. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And the, you know, I didn't get a greater sense of meaning of life no, from the movie. Never that. I, I didn't learn great historical moments in no, time. Of course, but not. that's not what the movie's made for. That's right. No, you're right. You want to see Godzilla and Kong throwing each other through buildings and blasting the hell out. And, of each and you want to see side plots of podcasters. Uh, with <laughs> QAnon conspiracy theories. Well, and the other <laughs> thing, the other thing that I that is really happening in the world of movies is during this COVID era, Kong actually hit an actual milestone. Oh, they made money, making money in the theaters, which is kind of reverse thought. Uh, Warner Brothers were just releasing everything on HBO Max and theatrically at the same yeah. time where they're now considering, hey, we're going to wheel back The Matrix 4 and, you know, Mortal Kombat yeah, and Dune and we're just going to throw it out at the theaters. Yeah. That's what the scuttlebutt is right now. Greedy so bats, that's what man. Godzilla vs. Kong really did. It showed that a lot of people... Yeah, we're ready to get out of the house. house. We've been in the house oh, for a year. I would love to see Kong vs. Godzilla on the big screen. That is the kind of movie you want to see on the big screen. I thought you're about, right. I thought about yeah, renting a theater and going no, like uh, yeah, all man, of us. It's, go. it's, it's like, like, a, it's like 150 yeah, bucks. 150 bucks for like 20 That's what I'm paying anyway when I go to the movies. I'm saying. Absolutely. And this week, I'm JB so remembers... Wacky Wall Walkers and Sucker Man. Ooh. Two toys from the 80s. Uh, Wacky Wall Walkers was a Japanese toy called Taco in 1983. Uh -huh. It was made out of a material called elastomer, sticky when it's clean. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, bought or sent to him, Ken Hakuda, Dr. Fad. His mother sent him mm -hmm. a box of them. He was so impressed by them, he paid $5,000 for the rights to produce them in the United States. Mm -hmm. And you had Wacky Wall Walkers. It's a small little uh, rubber octopus. Mm -hmm. You throw it against the wall and it rolls oh, on there. down. Yeah. That's it. That's all That's hours all of entertainment all it does. in the 80s. Dr. Fad tried to make several more toys, one of them hurricane in a bottle, but he yeah. never could recapture success of Wacky Wall Walkers. Though he used to walk around in suits with hundreds of wacky wall walkers pinned to the suit. Yeah, he if did. you remember. Yeah. Now, Sucker Man no, actually debuted earlier in 1978 by Mattel. Uh -huh. Was this alien looking guy with elongated arms and sucker cups around on his both sides of his body and arms and legs. Right. And you would disgustingly lick the sucker cups. <laughs> ah! You know, every cup, there was like 
Four cups yeah. down one leg. Four cups down the other. It's about yay big, yeah. heavy yeah. rubber, and you would heavy launch rubber. him. Yeah. And he would do basically the same thing. He'd stick, and then he'd start to roll down the wall. Yeah. Now, I don't want to step on your lines, but not only was Sucker Man, I believe Sucker Man was like a green-looking alien, but you could also get a glow-in-the-dark Sucker Man that was like white, but you would hold him up in front of the light, and you turn the lights off, and then he's glow-in-the-dark. He's <laughs> I never had the glow in the dark one, but I did have a sucker man. I did have wacky wall walkers, oh, okay. which were promptly taken away when I had all the marks yeah. on the walls yes. yeah. and the yeah. windows. And the wacky wall walkers, I don't know. I, I, I remember those dying out so because they would get so much lint so and dirty. stuff on yeah. it. They get so Disgusting. dirty. They were no longer, they would just bounce against the wall. Yeah. There was no longer. Well, it was, it was the, the genius behind it was the elastomer it was made out of. If you washed it with soap and water, it okay. would get sticky. If yeah. you, right. what? We yeah. didn't do that. We just play. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, and if it hit your popcorn ceiling, then it was over. <laughs> <laughs> no more sticky. Is that how we defeat Spider Man? We just, ah, ah! <laughs> Can't stick. You know, I'm going to try this one more time. Mike Tyson in the news. <laughs> He's starting a new social media platform for Christians only, and it's causing some controversy. He's calling it Faithbook. Um, I think I heard this story before. <laughs> I think it landed the second time. Yeah, I know. I had to do the... the, the they got to do the faith. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they landed that time. Thank you. I'm Ralphie D, and that's news to me. <laughs> I'm Cool Water Kurt. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We'd like to hear what you think. Leave us a comment down below and let your opinions be heard. And if you like this video, please check out other videos on our channel like Hella Trades and 252. And if you're looking for great food and even better relationship advice, Please come check out my little sis and the beautiful ladies of Dining with Nick Diva. I'm JB. I'd like to send a shout out to my man AM at Comics Most Wanted. Like him, follow him, subscribe. And this is 252 Pop Fiction, where you hear it. First. I didn't have a pin ready. You did. First. Ah, uh, I'm done. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together.